maybe you could tell us about where we are with the situation overall. Uh, where are we with the spread of this uh, and uh, in, in the overall government response? Well, we are certainly still in the escalation phase of this outbreak, Mark. Uh, as you know, uh, globally, different countries are at different phases of the outbreak. We've gone from a handful of cases uh, just, you know, a, a few months ago until right now, where we have, you know, close to uh, 10,000 cases, over 150 deaths. Worldwide, there are close to, if not already reached, about 200,000 cases and close to around 10,000 deaths. Uh, the epicenter of this has shifted from China, which dominated the infection numbers, the morbidity, the mortality early on, so that they've now come down in their peak to the point that there are relatively few new cases in China. And the epicenter has now shifted to Europe, particularly countries like Italy and France and others. Uh, what are the projections that you're currently seeing? What, what do people expect in, in the United States, in Western Europe, in the countries where uh, there are currently outbreaks that are growing very quickly? If the virus is left to its own devices, you will see a major, major peak, which will then turn around and come on down. How high that gets, Mark, and how long it's going to take to turn around is going to be very much dependent upon how successfully we do containment and mitigation, the kinds of physical separations of people that have now been part of the guidelines. It's rather disruptive of society, certainly is. It's inconvenient, but it's that kind of thing that's going to determine. So right now, if we do yeah. well and we're really successful, at a minimum, it's going to be several weeks. Well, if, if young people uh, have better health outcomes when they get this, um, can you talk for a minute about why is it so important that they take this seriously too? Uh, and, and, and how should they act to make sure that they can keep their families and, and the people that they love safe? Even though individuals who are young feel that they're somewhat invulnerable, I certainly felt that way when I was very young, you may be invulnerable to serious things. No one is invulnerable completely, but it's less likely that you'll get seriously ill. But you have a responsibility, not only to yourself, but to society in general, particularly the vulnerable people. And there are questions from people who, uh, one person, Joseph, says, we live in Florida, um, and there are some people here who believe that hot, humid weather uh, will kill the virus. So with the implication that it might not affect them and they may not need to take some of this guidance in serious, uh, this guidance in, in order seriously. Um, you know, what's, the, the, what's the latest uh, scientific thinking on that and how should people who have that question uh, respond? Oh, putting coronavirus aside, in general, respiratory illnesses such as influenza and the relatively benign common cold viruses tend to do very well in cold, dry weather and when warm, moist weather comes, people go outside, they're not congregated indoors, and viruses generally like cold, dry weather versus warm, moist weather. That is a fact, but we have no idea, since this is a brand new virus, whether this virus is gonna follow that paradigm. A lot of people are asking, what should we expect over the coming weeks and months ahead? Um, how long should we should we expect these kind of um, orders to be in place? And how, how long should we generally expect that to, to be on high alert for? When the guidance and the guidelines and the suggestions were put out officially from the government, it was said as a 15-day period. That does not mean it's only going to be 15 days. It means at the end of 15 days, we'll reevaluate and see if what we've done have had any noticeable impact and is it worth going on. I would project personally, though it's always dangerous to make these kinds of projections, that we will go longer than two weeks. Because what if you look at what the virus has done in other countries, it doesn't just turn around over a week and a half or two. It tends to go up. The stronger your mitigation uh, uh, activities are, the less the impact will be. But I believe it likely will be more than just two weeks. As a closing thought, is there any uh, source of information that you would point people too. I mean, a lot of the questions that I've gotten here are, you know, what's the best source of information? There's a lot of conflicting information out there. What, what do you think people should, should go look at and, and rely on to get information on this going forward? 
Yeah, there's two websites that overlap with each other. You can access one from the other. One is cdc.gov, but if you want to directly go to coronavirus information, just dial in coronavirus.gov.